everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a favourites video. I can't remember the last time I did a favourites actually, I think it was July last year, which is so long. I can't believe I've not done a favourites since then, that's crazy. But I thought I would do one today because I've got quite a few new products that I've been loving this month and I really wanted to show you. So I want to begin first of all with fashion and the first item I wanted to show you is this bag which I bought from Accessorize earlier this month and it is so cute, it's a little bag with a long strap and it's got gold hardware but the best thing about it if you can see, it looks like a little vintage radio. I absolutely love it and I think it's so cute and it's really lovely for this time of year and I really like it. It's not the biggest bag in the world but you mean you could fit a purse in it and like a phone, your keys, uh, lipstick. I just think it's really cute, it's also got a little handle here as well and I love the colour, it's in this light blue colour and it's just so me and I absolutely adore it. Next thing I wanted to show you is this top I'm wearing and it's from Zara and I have been loving Zara this month actually, their clothing is so good, they've got so many beautiful things there at the moment, it's all very hippie and bohemian inspired and really cute little shirts and tops and blouses and I am absolutely obsessed with it, I keep going in there and buying things, I've had quite a few new tops from Zara this month and I really like their stuff at the moment, I think that they're doing some amazing amazing things and also H&M, so my two favourite shops for the month actually at the moment are Zara and H&M for clothing so do go in there and have a look if you haven't been in there recently I really would recommend it and their stuff is absolutely amazing next thing I wanted to show you is a shower gel now I was sent very kindly a package of goodies to try out from a company called the clarity people and basically the clarity people are this really amazing company I've never heard of them before this and they make shower gels and toiletries and hand washes, creams, soaps, all that kind of thing, household and toiletry items and all of the proceeds that they make from what they sell goes towards helping visually impaired people with employment and training so they basically help visually impaired people get into work with what they make which I think is absolutely wonderful, I think it's a great idea and they sent me a bunch of stuff to review and to try out, they sent me so many lovely things and it was really hard to pick which one was my favourite but in the end I thought that I would show you this one because it's been the one that I've been reaching for a lot this month as you can see it's halfway gone and it is the Island Paradise shower gel and it's a special collaboration between the company and Joanna Lumley because they did a celebrity range that basically the celebrities made their own shower gel and picked what they wanted to go into it for the company and this one is absolutely amazing it smells quite fruity it's kind of got an appley berry kind of scent to it it's so fresh and sweet it's lovely for this time of the year Oh, it just smells so lovely. It smells like a cocktail. I just absolutely love it. And I've been reaching for this a lot this month. It doesn't dry your skin out. It's really gentle. It foams up really easily. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I really like the scent and the way it makes my skin feel afterwards. Because I hate shower gels that feel like they strip my skin of all the nutrients. But this one doesn't do that. It's really gentle. And I just really like it. So if you haven't checked out the Clarity People, I really would recommend you do. Because all the money goes towards a very good cause. As I'm sure you know, you'd agree. I mean, I'm visually impaired myself. So I think... I think it's a great idea. I'll leave the link in the description box. Do go and have a look. They've got some really amazing shower gels and soaps. So Clarity people, thank you and I think your products are amazing. Moving on to skincare products, the first one I have to show you is the Kiko Purifying Face Mask. Now if you remember a few months ago I did a bit of a Kiko haul when I got some stuff for Christmas and this was one of the things I mentioned and I've been using this a lot this month because I've been having a little bit of problems with breakouts because of you know hormonal breakouts and that kind of thing on my T-zone. So what I've been doing, I've been steaming my face and then after I've steamed my face and opened the pores I put this all over my face and I really like it, it's like a green colour and it's got these little beads inside of it like these are kind of kind of like exfoliating beads and it's really good it's like a purifying mask and it just helps to reduce blackheads and just clean the pores it's a really great mask it does help to reduce my spots and clean my pores and I think it's an absolutely wonderful mask and it's been doing a really great job my skin's looking really clear this month and I think it's down to this because this is what I've been using a lot this month so I'm really liking this and I think it's like five pounds it's not expensive either so if you haven't checked out Kiko stuff I really would recommend this face mask because it's great the next product I have to show you is an eye cream now this is the Origins Jingxing eye cream and I tried this out in a sample a few months ago and I really liked it so I thought I'd get the bigger size and I just think this is a great cream for anyone who has trouble with discoloration or puffiness or they get you know really tired looking eyes or they get really irritated this just gives your eyes a real boost in the morning you put it on and it just 
really helps to brighten that eye area up it lifts everything it makes you look more awake and fresh looking and it's really gentle it's got great scent to it and I've noticed that I look a lot more awake and my eye makeup just looks a lot better with this because it just gives me a bit of more of a, a glow to my face not one of the origins most expensive eye creams but I personally find that I like this one the best so I definitely like this and if any of you haven't tried it out you might like this if you get any trouble with tired looking eyes I think it's great now we move on to the territory of makeup and I've got quite a few things to show you this month. The first thing is the Lancome Juicy Shaker. I have seen so many bloggers on the internet being raving about these, they've been doing blog posts on it and I've been getting so jealous because I wanted one myself. So I ended up ordering one and I got it from Boots and the shade I got is in Vanilla Pop which is a really lovely slightly brown toned reddish colour. It's a really healthy looking colour. When you put it on your lips it just gives you a natural healthy glow and it's really complementary to my skin tone being quite powerful a redhead the color is so gorgeous they're very moisturizing they really help to plump up the lips and they just give a lovely sheen to the lips and they're just such an easy thing to put on in the daytime and I just absolutely love it I'll shake it to get it to blend so the idea of it is you get the oil and the pigment so you have to shake it in order to get the, the pigment so that's kind of what it is for and I just think it's really cool it's a really cool idea because it's like a little cocktail shaker I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and I just love the color as well Next thing I wanted to show you is a palette. Now, I got this palette from QVC and it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Tartlet Palette. You might have seen this on the internet. It's been quite a hyped about product over the last year or so. I'm quite late on the bandwagon myself, but I couldn't get my hands on it on QVC when I was looking on it. It was always out of stock, but I finally got one and I just absolutely love it. There's so many beautiful colours in it. It's an array of matched colours, so it's mostly like browns and you've got some talk colours and you've got some violet colours and it's just a really easy palette to have. It's just got a nice assortment of different colours for different looks and I just really like it. I absolutely love the top row in particular and if you've never tried this palette you might like it particularly if you like matte colours it's a really great matte palette Next thing I wanted to show you is another eye product and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerise and it's in the colour Marie Antoinette. Now I got this later in February I think I got it and I've been using it non-stop over the last month or so and I really like it. I just think it's a beautiful colour. It's like an oyster, slightly gold tinged colour. It's absolutely gorgeous and I've been wearing it a lot on just on the eyelid for a very easy effortless kind of eye look. It's just great if you just want to pop a bit of this on the lid and blend it in slightly with a brush for just an everyday casual look. If you you don't want to think about trying to mix colours or anything, it's great for that and I really like it. It's, an, it's a water based eyeshadow so it's very creamy, it blends like a dream, it's just such a beautiful colour, it stays in place, it doesn't crease and oh my gosh I absolutely love it. I've also got Betty now as well because I love the formulation so much. If you've got a visual impairment or you have trouble blending in your eyeshadow, it just really blends in quickly and easily and it's a no fuss product and the colour is gorgeous so I really like this too. Another lip product this month that I've been loving is the Madame Glam Sepia Lipstick and I absolutely absolutely love the colour. It's like a brown tone nude colour. I'm really getting into brown tone nude this month because brown is really in for this season for lipstick and I just absolutely love this colour. It's a really nice finish. It stays on the lips really well. It's got good staying power. It wears very well. It, it doesn't go patchy or anything. It's a great formulation. It's enriched with vitamin E oil as well and it's a cruelty free brand as well and Madame Glam is absolutely amazing. If you want to get discount on Madame Glam by the way guys, I've got a discount code which I'll leave in the description box for a discount off your first order. But if you haven't tried out any of the lipsticks, I'd recommend trying them out because they're great. The formulation is amazing and see is my favourite colour. I think it's such a beautiful shade and it's just really nice for this season. Next makeup product I wanted to mention is a recent discovery and it is the Soap and Glory Glow All Out Powders. So it's a kind of a drugstore dupe to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders and this is a pink peachy toned powder and it gives a bit of a luminosity to the skin. It really helps your skin to look really glowy and fresh and just radiant looking without making it look too powdery. It doesn't go cakey. It's a great consistency it smells great and it just blends really easily and I really like the color so if you want a good powder that gives a bit of a radiance or luminosity to the skin you might like this one for the price as well next product I wanted to mention is the Milani blusher in luminoso I saw this on Amazon a few months ago actually I was buying an eyeshadow and then I saw that this popped up on their recommendations list you know how it's got you might also like or customers also bought this this and this and then I just really like the look of this color it's a really pretty peachy pink blusher with gold tones running through it. It's such a lovely colour and it's really cheap. It's like £5 and I just thought I'd get it to see what it was like and oh my gosh, 
forget my high-end blushes. I have just been using this non-stop this month. I just absolutely love the colour. I love the luminosity it gives to the skin. I love how easy it is to blend. It's such a pretty colour for pale skin. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So if you like that kind of thing or if you want to get a new blusher, check out the Milani ones because they're really good at the price point and they do give a lovely finish to the skin without looking cakey or anything at all. So that concludes my favourites video today guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and you got some ideas of things you might like to try yourself. Do let me know in the comments what you've been using this month. I'd love to hear from you. Also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you are new as well to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye bye!